yo, yo, what's up everybody and welcome to Alexander the Great TV. Today, I'm your host, as always, I don't know why I said today, I'm always your host, Alexander the Great. You can follow me on all my social links in the description below. Hit me up on Instagram at the Alexander Dinning, as well as Facebook and TikTok at the same username. All right, but before we get into this extravagant meal I'm going to cook for you guys, I need you to hit that subscribe button below, as well as hit the bell icon so you can turn on post notifications so every single time I drop a video, you don't miss out. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so probably the most requested video that I have out there is, will you please make pizza the prison style way. So today I'm bringing you the exclusive way uh, an ex-con makes pizza. Now there's tons of different ways that you can do this. There's tons of different ingredients you can add or take away, but this is the way I know it. This is the way I know it tastes good to my taste buds. And today, at the conclusion of the cooking of this pizza, or not cooking, you'll see, <laughs> is my wife, which is a dietitian, is going to speak, taste, and discuss prison pizza for all our viewers. All right, everybody, so to discuss ingredients first, we need to jump into the what haves and the what have nots for the pizza. First, we will not be putting the typical prison meal of Top Ramen in here today, but what we will be taking from the Top Ramen meal is the seasoning. That will be going into the mixture today. We're gonna be bringing in some Red Hot Original Hot Sauce, okay? This is just a personal preference for what I like. Cayenne pepper sauce adds some flavor. You cannot have pizza without cheese. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that. So we have the Fritos Mild Cheddar. This is gonna be the topping of the pizza. For everyone who is wondering why you would get liquid cheese for pizza, uh, when you're inside prison, everything comes in a bag. Your milk can come in a bag, like, and I'm talking about items that come off commissary. And this is pretty much all we have to mingle with, unless you're in an institution where you can pull from the kitchen facility or have someone smuggle it in in their man parts back and you can cook a nice warm meal for yourself with all that. Okay, now we're talking filler. What are you actually gonna make the crust out of? These two items today, I know you think I'm probably insane, but premium saltine crackers and Funyun chips. This is gonna be adding the spice to your crust today. This is what's gonna be forming it. I'll put these two together to make that happen. Okay, so for sauce, this is pretty much what you get off of commissary when you're inside prison. Um, not a glass jar, like I said, a bag, but it would be ragu. Um, it's a typical pizza sauce. I have some kosher dill spears. I know you probably never had a pickle on a pizza. We're gonna see how that goes. And uh, we also have the Spanish olives. Chop those up nicely. We have pepperoni. Yeah, you know that this meat never goes bad. They can stay stuck in the bag. I don't know how this is safe for people to eat, but they've been doing it for years and uh, apparently it's gone well. All right, so let's get into the actual process of putting all these ingredients together. And how are we gonna do this? Are we all gonna, are we gonna be a barbarian? Are we gonna use our hands? Well, today we're doing authentic everything. So if you were in prison, you would take your ID card that you would show to officers when they say, who are you? You would go to the library and you'd swipe it through to rent books. You would, you use this for a lot of things throughout the prison system. And then you come home back to your unit after a long day of work and you take it right out of your pocket or off your neck or whatever. And then you get to chopping up your food. And most times you probably don't sanitize this. 100% of the time you don't. You're gonna wanna take the Funyuns first, okay? Bust this bag open. And you're gonna wanna pour out a good amount of it, okay? So we want about a quarter of the bag, right? That's what we want inside there, give or take, okay? What you wanna do is mix these up. Get this into a nice Funyun dust. Okay, so once you've broken up the Funyuns into a nice fine dust and you have them at the bottom of your bag, what you're gonna wanna do is add one sleeve of crackers to the bag. Be quite nice to pull them apart. Dump these in the bag. Okay, first, and you're gonna wanna mix these up as well. You're gonna wanna look at the consistency of the mixture. Obviously, the more Funyuns you have in there, the more spice you're gonna give to these dry saltine crackers, depending on what you like. Or maybe you wanna add more cheese in the end. Who knows? Me personally, I like a little bit more Funyuns. Go on, get that in there. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now we have the mixture. So this is what's gonna form the crust of our pizza, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. For me, a little bit of personal preference, I throw in that Red Hot Original, okay? Just a few dabs, spices the crust up. All right, we're back in. You got a nice shaker, mix up. Now we're ready for our water. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking just a small, what you have to do is you have to eye the mixture. When you're putting this water in, you put a little bit in, mix it up, put a little bit in, mix it up. Continue to do so until you have a consistency that you like and looks as a thick enough crust as you're looking for. Obviously, you don't want it to be runny, so continue to add water until, I'll show you what mine's gonna look like. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is massage the bag upwards can you continue to mix it up so that everything gets a little bit of water on it? So once you add enough water to the consistency of your pizza crust, it should look something like this. See how it's moving around in there, moldable, okay? So you're gonna take this and you're gonna squish it out. Most people just take a chip bag in which they're using Doritos, Cool Ranch, nacho cheese. We're using onion flavor today. You're gonna squeeze this out. You're gonna take a hand towel. Squeeze it, squeeze it, rub it. Slap it. And then fold that baby over. Wrap that nice warm towel around it. We'll be back. It'll be ready and let's say 10 to 15 minutes, it should be good. Okay, so next, we're gonna wanna cut up the toppings. We have olives and pickles. All right, so now, once we have these all halved up and cut, ready for the pizza, aside we have our pepperonis typically if you cannot get your hands on pepperonis you would use a beef stick such as in county jail or so today we got these babies but after we've let the crust sit for about 10 15 minutes what, what we're going to want to do is split the end all right and there we have it this is what the crust looks like Okay, so not so bad, not so bad, not so good, incarcerated. Okay, and once you have your pizza down to the base, all right, so now once you have the thin layer of cheese put on, go on, apply your veggies. Make sure you've strained out the water, otherwise you're just gonna have a watery pizza. Nobody wants that. Next, apply your pepperoni. It ain't easy being cheesy. All right, there it is. There's the pizza. We've made it. Let's take a closer look. Wow, that's a nice one. There we have her. A non-cooked pizza, not in the oven. You could do this if you were in the sticks, out in the middle of the woods. It's a prison for you. All right, so now I'm gonna go get my dietitian, registered dietitian wife. We're gonna have her sit down take a bite, discuss what she thinks about this. Babe, come here, come try this prison pizza. Come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. You're up, okay. Okay, everybody, so this is my wife, Abigail Denning. She is a registered dietitian. Um, yeah, so she's gonna dig in. She's gonna let us know a little bit about the prison pizza, uh, and she's gonna give us a taste test, talk about dietary needs that this might meet or not meet. 
and all the details contained. All right, take them away. Should I try it first or talk about it first? Give it a go, give it a bite. <laughs> Do I get a utensil or something? Yep, yep, here you go. I don't get silverware? Absolutely not, this is prison. <laughs> oh, plus you owe me 25 cents. Uh, that was off commissary, 25 cents you owe me. So go ahead, continue. All right, let's dig in here. Let's get a pepperoni in there and an olive. Wow. Your first thoughts? <laughs> Tastes a little bit like pizza. <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> On a percentage wise, would you say 40, 50? 80, 90? I'd give it 50. <laughs> okay, okay. Describe the consistency. What are you thinking? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, what are we thinking pizza wise for a dietitian? Taste wise, not health. The consistency. The crust actually tastes like a crust, but like a doughy crust. Everything else, pretty good. So, okay, what about food-wise? Uh, for, for a normal person in prison, I'd say the people who have money are eating these pizzas about three to five times a week. What we, wow. What, yeah, yeah, as, as a dinner, three to five times a week. For the, for the people who have money, they splurge in there. So, what would you have to say to somebody that's eating this inside prison three to five times a week, thinking they're living large and eating healthy, what would you have to say to them? I would say based on all the ingredients here, the sodium levels, they're asking for a heart attack pretty early in life. <laughs> so you would, you would absolutely tell somebody to not eat this on a daily basis? Not on a daily basis. So how often not. would you say? Once, once a month, once a week? I mean, we're talking prison life here. I can't really tell you not to eat it. It's probably the best part of some people's day. So if you're looking for a quality of life and you like it, go ahead and have it. But if you're looking to be healthy and prolong your life, I would say maybe once every couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, so you heard it from two of the best. An ex-con that's personally made it and a registered dietitian who's personally tasted it. Whether you're inside prison or out, you probably shouldn't be including this into your diet. But like she said, be happy, do what you want, try to prolong your life for as long as you can. Enjoy it. Oh, and before we take off guys, drop in the comments below what you would like to see more of, maybe prison focus, recipe focus, whatever it is. And be sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the bell to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out when we drop a video. Until next time, ATG TV, peace out.